Man, that is a shame what this girl just did to her whole family, bro. You know what drove that girl to do something like that? Voodoo. Voodoo and meddling with evil spirits, man. I've been wanting to talk about this subject for a very, 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 very long time. This is what made this girl lose her mind and do what she did. She didn't basically try to kill her whole family, man. Because she believed in her mind that the world was ending when the eclipse happened. She really believed in her mind that the whole world was ending on the 8th. She believed in astrology, and astrology might as well have been her religion. And what did God say about that? God said that these type of people that do things like this are practicing witchcraft. This is witchcraft, man. And every time you worship stuff like this and you do a deep dive into stuff like this, all that tarot card reading, all that talking to the dead, y'all are practicing witchcraft and y'all are literally opening up portals and doors in your soul for d demonic figures and demonic entities to get in and do what they do and it ain't even no telling how long them demonic creatures just been living inside of her just waiting for a moment just waiting to rattle her rattle her up good enough to make her do something crazy you can't tell me that girl when possessed bro look at what she did and the scary part about this is when it comes to the black community, most of y'all out there, if you in a relationship with a black woman, she more than likely either do stuff like that right now or she used to. And it's a back door in her soul right now. It's some type of demonic entity in her right now just laying dormant because they didn't let they didn't play with so many different things in their past or currently still doing it. And you think it's, it's all cute and everything. But at the end of the day, it's witchcraft. Why do you think you see so many stories of black women just going crazy and killing their kids, going crazy and killing their boyfriends, going crazy and just killing themselves or just doing something stupid? Just out of nowhere. And they always say it was postpartum depression. These women be on a demonic position, bro. Because they live their life being sexually immoral to the extreme. They live their life practicing witchcraft. Knowingly or, or unknowingly. Because they pass this witchcraft down through tra tra uh, tradition. And they got so many portals open up through them, bro. At any moment, they can switch. <laughs> and, and, and it's scary, bro. Because y'all don't understand it. Y'all don't know it. Y'all look at these women and y'all think just because they got uh, big butts. And just because they giving you sex or whatever, that you don't care about that. But they opening up portals inside of you too. And you don't even know it. The demons they got in them, you basically giving them demons authority over your life too by accepting it. And so when they end up killing you like this girl did, it's just what it is, bro. No, you gave that demon authority. Just because you wanted some sex. Or you got to watch out for these women. And I'm not, I'm not just saying this just to be saying it. I come from a city where a lot of black women practice voodoo. Bro. I'm from Selma, Alabama. I'm from Selma, Alabama. If you don't know about Selma, a lot of people do voodoo there. I think it's a lot of people in Selma that don't know that a lot of people do voodoo. But they do. They do it, man. I didn't have voodoo put on me. It's people in my family that didn't done voodoo. It's everywhere, bro. It's everywhere and y'all don't realize it. I remember this black woman did a video and she was talking about how she know for a fact that most women in America, most uh, black American women do voodoo. They will go to church and still do voodoo. And this is coming out of the horse's mouth now. She was exposing black women. She was, she was basically saying y'all are fools for believing that these women ain't dealing with evil entities behind the scenes. They will hide it from you. She said most black women in America, not even talking about in the Caribbean or over in Africa where basically the voodoo started. No, just right here in America. They practice voodoo and they putting it on you. There's a lot of witches and warlocks out here, especially in the black community, man. And they hiding in plain sight. And they opening up all type of portals to evil. Why do you think the black community is the way it is? It ain't no God there, man. You got to get away from the black community to see the goodness of humanity. Why you think a lot of black people, when they get money, they move out? Because they understand what's going on. It's evil there. They trying to escape the evil. Get a soul a chance at redemption and salvation somewhere else. Where people practice love and light 
it ain't no uh, practicing of love and light in a black community most of the time, bro. It's straight up murder. It's rape. It's incest. It's sexual Im immorality. It's everything under the sun that worships other gods. All type of hatred. You know, so... And, it, and it's like that because these witches, they opening up portals, man. These demons, they going in and out through these portals every day, every night. Like they say, the devil, he goes to and fro, devouring anybody who can, who he can. That's what the streets is. That's what the black community is. I remember I used to say, it's a beast living in the streets. And he go around just, just eating people. That's why all these fools end up getting shot and killed. Because this beast of hatred, this beast of envy and jealousy is going around eating people. And I didn't even know. It's like spiritually the whole time. That was like, that must have been God showing me that's what the devil is. That the devil is that beast. At that point in time in my life, I never even read that verse saying the devil is like a beast going to and fro in the earth devouring people. I never heard of that. But in my mind, I always, it's like I knew that. Black women are feeding that beast. And that's what this was. She fed the beast. It was time to collect, herself included. Don't be, don't go dancing with the devil, man. Don't, when you do astrology, when you do witchcraft, when you do tarot card reading, dancing with the devil. And one day he gonna come to collect. And you gonna go down there in your next home and dance forever with him. In another case, you got a black woman who same day when the eclipse happened this woman was i think she was from georgia went all the way to florida and when the eclipse happened she jumped out of her car started shooting people i don't know how many people she killed i'll put the article up here somewhere bro you gotta watch out man because they doing this voodoo and their souls is corrupted i promise you ever since i've been on a positive spiritual journey in my life ever since i've been getting closer to jehovah it's like every time i get around black women i sense a deep negative and evil evil energy to the point i don't even like a lot of times to even look them in the eyes they don't even they try not to look me in mind i guess they might think i'm ugly or something but it, you know what i'm saying it is what it is but i sense an energy so evil man and it's because they didn't let these things play in their mind they didn't let these things open up so many doors to darkness in their mind so many portals for the black women out there that understand what I'm saying, y'all need to protect yourselves too. Cause you, if you end up like that woman, and I wish I still had the video. If I do have the video, and if I find it, I'll post it in here. If you end up like this woman and try to, you know, just expose what's going on, and they start attacking you, you need to go to Jehovah, man. You need, you need the blood of Jesus on you. Cause the strong voodoo and the demons, they got connections too. It'll flip your life upside down, man. They got connections. I think black women got connections strict, directly to the devil. <laughs> like for real. They didn't practice this stuff so much. And they didn't, they didn't sacrifice so many kids to Moloch. To the point it's like that demonic blood just flows through their veins. They pass it down through blood magic. Why you think they always getting with men they can control? Because they can do voodoo behind his back. They can control him with the voodoo. They can control his mind. Can he control through sexual energy? They can send their succubus energy out to control his mind through sex through sex energy. Y'all gotta be careful, man. This is real. It's 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 a lot of spiritual warfare going on. Like I say, we living in a spiritual war zone. Literally, this is what Armageddon is gonna happen. Armageddon is gonna happen on earth. And this is literally a spiritual war zone, man. You might not believe me, but I'm telling you that war been started. The war been started, bro. It started when the devil went to war with the angels in heaven, and he fell. He's still at war. You go to war with a country and they take over, and you end up becoming like a treasure of war or something like that. I forgot what it's called. I don't know why it's so much slipping my mind today. But basically, when you choose to live on the devil's timing, when you choose to dance with the devil, you end up becoming just another treasure of war, a casualty of war, or whatever they call it. And you gonna belong to him. So you better choose right, man. Y'all better start vetting these women that that y'all got in y'all lives, man. Because they sending you straight to H-E double hockey stick. I just had to say this, man, because there's so much evil going on. They radiate evil off them, man.
And I'm not saying it's all of them, but you best believe it's like a vast majority of them. I promise you that. You might not believe it, <laughs> but I'm telling you, bro. Most of them, if they don't directly, like knowingly worship that stuff, then they still, it's like their sisterhood amongst them is so powerful that they still act the same way. They still do the same things. Like I say, when they, when they sacrifice their babies to Moloch through abortion, that's what that is, man. It's like, I forgot how many black people it is in America, but they didn't, as many as black people that it is in America, they didn't sacrifice that many black babies to Moloch. Bro, I'm telling you, y'all got demonic spirits living amongst you, especially if you around these black women and they either practice that stuff directly or indirectly because of the sisterhood, they end up practicing it and being okay with it and letting these people around them and, and open up doors and portals to, to hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all put y'all selves in harm's way, man. So I'm just sending this video out there as a warning to vet these women. Vet them and make sure you stay connected to Jehovah, man. Make sure you stay connected to Jesus. Make sure you stay uh, armored in protection because it's real out here. It's real out here. Like I say, I used to be able to see things, man. I see things, and a lot of times, I see things, I see spirits in people. And the spirits I see in black women, man, be so nasty, and it be so evil, and just hateful, and bitter, and angry. The stuff I see in them, it make me not even want to be around them, bro. My, like, I feel something tell me on the inside, get away from them. Something tell me on the inside, you need to leave. You need to get away from that. And I'm like that because I'm spiritually sensitive. I can sense people. Shit. Damn. See, and, and that's a nigga right there. That's a nigga. <laughs> that wasn't no black woman. That's a nigga. You know, I'm in my government trying to do these videos, man. That's why I say you got to get away from them. See what I'm saying about the hood? See what I'm saying about them opening up these evil portals in the hood to the point where you get that all the time. Like they say, the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. They in the process of destroying themselves right there. Boom, because portals is opening up everywhere you look because of this witchcraft. But yeah, man, that's it. I'm finna move around. <laughs> and y'all don't like staying in one spot once I hear gunshots. It's time to move around. Yeah, let me know what you think about this video, man. Let me know if you feel like what I'm saying is the truth. And... Yo, man, like I say, y'all stay protected.